Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be reviewing this. This is the Lottie London Slay All Day Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, and I have never, ever, ever, ever tried anything from this brand before. I kind of feel a little bit old, to be honest. I don't know who the target demographic is for this brand, but I feel like it's not someone who's closer to 40 than 14. Um, I don't know, just the name, the logo, the design, the stars all over it, the price point, it just feels like um, this is a brand probably aimed at maybe teenagers or something. Um, but yeah, I have never tried it before. Um, but to be honest, I was looking for a new liquid lipstick and or not necessarily a liquid lipstick but I was looking for a new lip product um, and I thought I would go with a liquid lipstick just because obviously it lasts longer and we have to wear masks at the moment and you know it's not fun especially gloss gloss is a no-go when you wear a mask because it's instantly gone and it's smeared around your face smeared all over the mask so um, yeah I thought let's go liquid lip um, and I picked my, you know, my favourite shade, um, to me it's just the best shade ever. Um, most of my lipsticks, lip glosses, you probably see a theme if you've been watching me a while. Um, they always tend to be this type of colour, this mauve colour. Um, and I'm not quite sure, honestly, what the shade is called. I thought it might be called Slay All Day, but I think that's just the name of the liquid lip. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I don't know what the actual shade is called. So I will try and find out and then I'll put it in the description. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what the shade is called. Maybe it is called Slay All Day. I don't know. Um, but it's really pretty. It's like a mauve colour. A very dark mauve. It's very, very pretty. Um, I've had it for a few days now. Um, and I don't have anything on my lips right now. So let me apply some. The packaging is very, you know standard it's quite small it's quite a small product so how much do we have in here um we can't actually see we have six mil so it is quite small although i have tried smaller ones um i have some five mil ones um so it's not tiny but it's not massive either um and then we have i will say this lid feels very um cheap it's very thin very flimsy and it's very kind of um it's very lightweight it's like very hollow feeling it just feels quite cheap I don't know if you can hear but it just feels cheap but then if this is a cheap brand this is not expensive I didn't look into the brand to be honest um, when I do reviews I, I like to just go for my initial thoughts and feelings my initial reaction and I find that when you start looking into brands and start looking at everything else that might change your opinion um, so I didn't want to do that. So I literally just saw this, saw the colour, saw that it was only just, you know, a couple of pounds. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it was. It was definitely under five pounds. It was literally about three pounds or something. Um, and so I just thought, you know what? Let me try it. I don't know about this brand, but I'm going to try it. So yes, it's a little bit flimsy. Feels a little bit cheap, but then it was cheap. Um, with makeup, I'm not as fussy, to be honest. I'm way more fussy with my skincare. Um, but with makeup, I'm not I'm not as bad. Um, so yes, it's cheap, so it's not gonna have anything amazing in here. The ingredients aren't going to be spectacular. Um, it has a doe foot wand, um, which is quite small. I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite a small applicator. The scent is nothing nothing you know crazy going on here with the smell it's very generic it just smells like a lip product uh let me apply this as you can see is very close to my natural skin tone so my lip up here my top lip has nothing on and then the bottom lip has the product so as you can see it looks almost identical it looks like i haven't put anything on so that's why i really like it because it's really close to my natural lip color so it just helps to even out my skin tone, my lip color. But I have to say, something I love about this is that it applies so smooth. It's just, can you see that there? It is so silky smooth. It feels really, really nice. 
the application of it is silky smooth, silky soft, it feels amazing. It is quite thin, but it's not streaky. So some cheaper liquid lip products are thin, a little bit streaky, and you have to keep reapplying, and then you end up with this really, really thick, clumpy mess, or it's just streaky and it looks terrible. Um, with this, it's quite a light formulation, so I'd say more light than thin, um, because it's not streaky at all. Um, and I know I did, you know, a couple of coats because I did the top lip separate from the bottom, bottom lip and I kind of redipped. Um, I have been using this for a few days and I haven't done that. I've just used one coat and that has been enough. Um, but having said that, my natural lip colour is very similar to this lip colour. So maybe if it was a red or a completely different shade to my lips, then maybe I would need to apply a little bit more. Um, but I really like it. Um, it's just, like I said, this is my favourite type of lip colour, just a nice taupey shade, um, sorry not taupe, mauve, um, and it's just got a light, slight little hint of a purpley berry colour, a bit of a rose, um, but it's very, very natural. Again, if you had a different skin tone, if you had very pale skin, it would look completely different, it would be a lot more dark, a lot more bold, um, but I love it, it's just the perfect everyday lip. Um, it does dry down. So if I kiss the back of my hand, there is nothing there. There's nothing there. So it completely dries down. It is not tacky. What I love about it as well, it is very lightweight. So yes, it's light when you apply it, but when it's on your lips, it doesn't crack, which I love. It doesn't crack, it doesn't break, it doesn't peel off, um, and you don't really notice it. I feel like I've applied quite a lot because I think I did the three coats in the end, which is quite a lot. Um, and you really don't need to. So for me now, it feels a little bit heavier than the previous days that I've been wearing it. Um, but it still looks good. Now you can see that it is not... Let's put on the lighting. You can see that it is not um, drying. Like my lips do not look dry. Hopefully you can see that. But they feel really super, super soft. It does not shift. It does not smear into your mask, um, or it hasn't done for me. Like I said, it stays on, it does dry down. Um, something I will say about it, and again, you ought to think of the price point, but this does not stay on all day. So I think it's quite funny that it's called Slay All Day because it doesn't stay on all day. Um, you know, some liquid lips literally stay on all day from the moment you apply it in the morning and that will still be on at bedtime and you have to remove it. This, to be honest, on me, um, and everybody's different, but on me, um, it did start to wear off quite quickly, actually. Definitely within the first couple of hours, um, but then I was eating and drinking. But I did notice, I look in the mirror and it's just slightly faded. What I like about it is that it doesn't peel off, so it doesn't kind of crumble off. Um, and then you look in the mirror and you kind of have like patches missing where it's literally peeled off. Um, that doesn't happen, and again, I think it's the formulation because it's a much... Uh, lighter formula when it's heavier I think that's when they peel off um, so because it's a lighter formula it is much more um, it's just lighter on the lips and rather than peeling off it just tends to fade which I prefer I'm very very happy to reapply this throughout the day because it's not expensive and because you can reapply it sometimes I have had um, liquid lips in the past that start to wear off in the center of the lips so you have to reapply it but then when you reapply it it ends up it ends up being really cakey um, because it's too thick because you've still got the previous layer underneath um, you know around the edges and it's just too thick and heavy that doesn't happen with this. When it starts to fade, I just reapply it and it feels great. Um, and again, it's that light formula. So it is really, really nice. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. No, it does not last all day. So if you are looking for a liquid lip that's going to stay on all day long, then this isn't going to be the one for you. But if you are looking for a liquid lip that is inexpensive, uh, feels really nice when you apply it, it doesn't stink, um, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't crack, it doesn't dry out the lips, it feels really nice and smooth, um, but yes you do have to reapply it every couple of hours, um, then you'll be really happy with this. They have a nice shade range, I will leave the link below uh, where I got this from. Um, and again, it was only a couple of pounds, so I really don't have anything bad to say. No, it doesn't stay on all day, but I'm more than happy to reapply this. Um, it's better than a normal lipstick. Um, yes, it's not as good as 
some of the top liquid lips out there but then it is a fraction of the price and like I said I'm more than happy to reapply this um, a couple of times in the day. So hopefully you found this review helpful if you did give this video a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye!